Welcome back to our Bible study inspiration brought to you by JOP Evangelistic Outreach Project. Are you ready for your weekly dose of encouragement? I know you are ready because I'm ready as well also. If this is your first time joining us, we welcome. We welcome you to our channel. We encourage you to subscribe and also share the Bible study inspiration with others. Okay, the question for this week is this. We're going to talk about brothers are friends too. Yes, brothers are friends too. Do you know brothers who are friends or do you have a brother or brothers who are friends? Do you know that there is a friend in Christ Jesus? Yes, there is a friend in Christ Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead, get your word, get your word. First, we're going to listen. I pose this question to two individuals who are close to me. I want to share with you their response. The question is, brothers are friends too. Let's talk about it. Welcome back, everybody, to JOP Evangelist Outreach, Outreach Ministry. Ministry. I am Javar Smith, this is Nigel, and we're going to talk about how we are brothers and friends. So, he's always arguing when I tell him to go take a shower. I'm not even arguing with, oh, uh, and every time I go to the shower, I'm not even arguing, kids, so you can be quiet. You know, you argue all the time. I'll be like, Nigel, go take a shower, and then you can come back. I'm like, no, you're not the boss of me. Cause you're not a boss of me, kids. So no. I am the boss. You're not older than me. Who told you guys you were brothers? My mom. My dad. You. You. My family. Everybody told me that we were my brothers. My family, my cousin, my uncle. And um, he came back home and I saw him. Who told you that? Who told you that? He came back from where? Where he came from? The hospital. The hospital. Okay. Where he was born. Okay. What is it like being friends? I'm really not his friend. I'm his, I'm his brother, Nanny. Do you think you will ever see each other as friends? Probably in middle school. Yeah. Well, elementary, high school, and middle school. Yeah. So, um, so, um, me and Javar might be in the same high school because I'm going to go to Kirby. And yeah. He's gonna be in eighth grade, I'm gonna be in sixth grade, so then we're gonna meet each other. It's not much time. What does it feel like to be brothers? Um, not really like a feeling, because we see each other every day. What do you do when you play together? Um, argue. me? Argue. Yes, argue. we basically argue all the time. Yeah. What does Jesus say about being a friend? Oh, is that in the Bible? Jesus is our friend. Yes, I think Jesus is you think? everybody. You think? You I know Jesus is everybody's friend. Especially my nanny. Especially me. Definitely my nanny friend. Especially me. And my brother. And, and me. All right, and you. Our do whole you, family. Do you love Jesus? Yes. Oh, um, yes, we do love Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. So do you want to live again with Jesus? Yes, 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 yes. I very do want to live with Jesus and never die again. And have golden mansions. Yay! What? Yeah. What? Okay, what do you want to do with your life oh, to encourage someone? I want to be a lawyer and help people out. With their like, if they couldn't help their own stuff, they could hire me, and I could help them solve their problems. Well, um, if I was gonna help people, I was gonna be a millionaire, a dentist, a doctor, and so then I was gonna probably be like a lifeguard. Probably earn some money. Probably get me a mansion. So, what do you see yourself doing in five years? Graduating to my dream college which would be either Georgia or Tuskegee or Georgia. Okay. 
and I was going, I be thought I'd become a good lawyer. And one, one day I will own my own business as a lawyer. This gonna, um, five years. It's gonna be ninth grade for me. No, what they'll be doing inside ninth grade. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so if I ever get like to like, um, what Jamar said, I might, um, I might go to my dream college like LSU, LSU or, or Clemson. And for you guys to tell your friends out there. Always keep your head up and always go for your dreams. Um, if you're playing football, don't go head to head, contact, you might get a concussion. And if you do, you, and you're going to the hospital. So then if you go back to play football, don't go head to head again because you don't want to get a concussion again. So. Can you give everybody a shout out for the Lord? Um, oh. Shout out to my nanny who literally I wake up and she's already learning Yes. about the bible and doing stuff for god literally i wake up and she's already doing it so that's the one person i think i have ever seen willie wake up at 7 a.m and still is doing god's work it's at five that is just so inspirational uh i encourage and motivate people uh, i'll give a shout out to Miss Davis and Miss George. Yeah. Who are they, Nigel? Oh, my dear. Miss George was my teacher for third grade. Miss Davis is my teacher for fourth grade. And thank you guys for stopping by, giving us a bit of encouragement. We are brothers, too, and friends. God bless you guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Uh, bye, -bye. bye. Brothers are friends too. Yes, the other kids are microphone. It came up with their own questions and their own scenarios. So what we're going to do, we're going to look at their concept of the characteristics that is building their relationship. And the question was asked, what do you do when you come together? Well, the first thing that they both agree to find is that they argue. Yes, they argue. But you know what? Did you catch what I saw? They argue with a smile. But where do you see yourself in five years? Or how do you, do you see yourself as a friend right now? And so, and they see in their own eyesight, perhaps five years from now, from now, they can see themselves coming together as friends when they're in senior high school or in junior high school. They see themselves too as encouragers. They both love the Lord and the God is there. Jesus right there in the midst of everything with them. They love the Lord. They want to encourage others. They want to and motivate others and want to give the godly advice to others as they ch present challenges that may come in through their lives. So we're going to get some scriptures right now on what we can glean from the word of God. You know, Jesus is our friend too. Brothers, can brothers be friends? Yes, brothers can certainly be friends. We're going to get some scriptures now. Come on, I know you have your word. I know you have your word with you. Turn now, if you will, to 1 John chapter 3, 7, verse 17. And the word of God reads, But whoever has the world's goods and see his brother in need and close his heart against him, how does the love of God abide in him? Verse 18, little children, let us not love with words or with tongue, but in deed and truth. Do you see now as the children are coming together saying, yes, I'm going to help others when I get older. I want to help others. I'll be financially able in a, in a position with a job or with money. So financially, I can be able to go out and help others. I can give that advice as well. Turn now to James. Yes, I see what James teaches us. James, uh, James chapter 2, starting at verse 15. And the word of God that reads, if a brother or sister is without clothes, and in need of daily food and one of you says to them go in peace be warm and be filled and yet you do not give them what is necessary 
for their body. What use is that? Even so, faith, if it has no works, is dead, being by itself. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, we are yet encouraged by the Word of God and what the Word of God teaches us as we go to be learn how to be friends within this world, within this society, where we are. Jesus is truly our friend, and the Word of God yet encourages us. Brothers can be friends as well also. Now turn for me, going to end here. The Word of God, we're going to end here. John, John, turn to John chapter 15. Look, and we're going to start reading here at verse 12. John 15, verse 12, and the Word of God reads, This is my commandment, that you love one another just as I love you. Greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. 15, no longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, this is Jesus, I have called you friends for all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. Jesus calls us friends. My Lord, my Lord, Jesus calls us friend. There is a friend in Christ Jesus. Oh, my Lord, we're going to pause right now for a word of prayer. Most holy God, our Father, our Lord, and our Savior. Lord God, we thank you for your word on this afternoon, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for letting us know that brothers can be friends too, and brothers are friends too, Father God. Oh, God, let your word feed, heal, restore, and deliver us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen, amen. Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Yes, a smile can go a long, 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 long way. Yes, a smile can go a long way. We're going to put up some more studies that you can glean from. Also, share the Bible study inspiration with others. You, you be blessed. Stay encouraged. We'll see you again on next week. God bless you.